Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. We all crave for performance in some form or the other if you know what I mean. But in today's video, I am going to be talking about 5 such cars which are very impressive in terms of performance. But before I get going, take a hammer and smash that like button. Is it done yet? Great! Now click on the red subscribe button and ring the bell. Since you are doing all this, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Number 5. It's a muscle car and loves to flex its biceps with pure unadulterated feel. Thanks to its 5 litre naturally aspirated V8 motor that has a soul. No respirator to up the performance here. The Mustang was a handful to drive but the new model is quite impressive thanks to an all independent suspension setup. This car does have the go to match its show and is the only muscle car you can buy in India right now. Green light. The wheel spinning like crazy. And here we are. And, and, and this is how it turns. <laughs> God. Number 4. The Desi Sports Saloon, the Tigor JTP offered stellar performance and fun for the price. And although power comes in from a 3 cylinder engine, it is turbocharged which helps it produce 114 PS and 150 Newton meters. The result is 0 to 100 km per hour in under 10 seconds. But it's the feel of this car which is addictive. Right from the turbo whoosh and rev the nuts and off we go. Can you hear that? It's like tss, 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 to the handling and mid-range punch. This car was a proper pocket rocket. And off we go. A little bit of wheel spin on offer. And yes, straight away let me tell you this is an absolutely fabulous engine. Number 3. If someone told me the E63S is based on the E-Class, I would not believe them. Because the E63 and the regular E-Class are as different as chalk and cheese. So for AMG engineers to transform a big, fat, luxury car into a performance monster is nothing short of an achievement. The E63 AMG runs a 4-litre bi-turbo V8 with 612 horsepower and 850 Nm, resulting in 0 to 100 km per hour coming up in just 3.4 seconds. Absolutely mind-boggling thrust with ride, handling, steering feel being better than its closest rival. Number 2. Remove the logos from the car and you won't believe this could be a Korean car that's so sporty. The Kia Stinger GT is the brand's flagship model which blends performance and practicality in a brilliant way. While it can seat 4 in comfort with their luggage, it can also sprint to the ton in just 4.7 seconds. All thanks to the 3.3 litre V6 heart that runs 2 turbos and outputs 365 horsepower. The steering and handling is the best we have seen on any Korean car and it has 5 driving modes too. There's no launch control on offer but there's a lot of wheel spin on offer great performance on the top of the list is an iconic sports car because number one is the Porsche 911 Carrera S which kind of rewrites the rules of physics with its stellar performance and unbelievably good handling. The 911 has its engine at the rear. While not the most ideal position, Porsche has mastered the setup so well that the Stuttgart car is nothing short of driving on rails. The 3-litre flat 6 motor will make you believe V8s are overrated. With the 450 bhp of power, making this sports car reach the ton in just 3.7 seconds. Launch control activated. Absolute rocket ship the way this car takes off. Want to go faster still? The Turbo S has 650 PS on tap with a 0 to 100 km per hour time of 2.7 seconds. Unbelievable. 
and I'm going to punch it now. Here we go, beauty, what acceleration. Here we are doing almost 150 kilometers per hour. Absolute rocket ship, 190 kilometers per hour onto the brakes. Okay, the cones are flying here and there, but can we avoid them? Yes, we can. And my God, what a beauty. This engine absolutely screams the way this car goes. There's so much grip on our potential. Four wheel drive, and you're doing 200 plus hard onto the brakes. Brakes are so fearsome. They give you so much feel and feedback. Thank you guys for watching this video. Before you comment, why the Skoda Octavia RS isn't here? It's because the RS245 makes no sense at its price, which is rupees 45 lakhs plus on road Mumbai. And I'd rather get the BMW 330i Sports. I said Sports, not M Sport, okay? Because the pricing is very similar after discounts. Anyways, let me know your favorite performance cars. Over and out. Vroom, vroom.